Okay, so I've just powered this particular device on for the first time, and you can see it's it's going through a boot up. There's there's a few keys. There's a key on the top left, single key here, and that's your on off switch. On the upper right side, uh, there's two keys. Not sure if they're showing up there. That's your volume control, and in the on the bottom, uh, there's that little N shaped metal key, which is the uh, which is uh, like a home screen or puts it into sleep mode. So you'll see here uh, the device is coming on for the first time. You see the Nook Color logo. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting a lot of lines. And you're greeted by this, uh, this attractive lady here who will walk you through the... And I'm just going to see if it... Uh, the touch screen is very responsive. So uh, this is the video here to walk us through the setting up. I'm, Turn this up a little bit. Well, must have hit the wrong one. At your fingertips and ready to enjoy I actually the muted it. Revolutionary new vivid view touchscreen. My name is Kate, and I'm here with some quick tips to get started. Let me show you how to navigate your new Nook Color. Almost everything can be done with a quick tap. Tapping the arrow at the bottom of a display opens the quick nav bar that gets you to Nook Color's main features. Tapping a book cover opens the book. Tapping and holding reveals more reading options. Swiping a page or tapping on the right of a page takes you to the next page. Press the Nook button to get to the home screen. At the bottom, you'll see all of your new books, magazines, and newspapers each day. You can drag a book to the home screen so it's always there, ready for you to read. Use two fingers to zoom in on any picture or pinch to zoom out. Your library is where you keep all your books, magazines, and newspapers organized. You can scroll to move up and down the list. Or tap and hold to choose more options. Now let's get you set up. First, you need to connect to Wi-Fi. Every Barnes & Noble bookstore has free Wi-Fi. So your Nook Color will connect automatically in store. When you are at home or another Wi-Fi hotspot, Nook Color will step you through the process and help you connect. If you're connecting to a password-protected hotspot, be sure to have your password handy. Then it's quick to register. You need your email address and your Barnes & Noble account password. If you don't have an account, we will help you create one. After this video, the next screen will help you get set up you'll be ready to experience the future of reading with your Nook Color. Okay, so as you can see, they've really set this up nice for, uh, for, the, for the computer uh, non-techie, let's just say. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and then uh, join me in some future videos.